Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us see examples of vectors in three dimensions. This time, let us use determinants to find the for, for, find the solution. So, if let us take an example. In this example, if a is a vector, if a is a vector, and if the components of this vector are two i minus three j minus k and if b is another vector and the components of those are i plus 4j minus 2k then we want to show or prove one of the properties which says vector a cross vector b is equal to negative of vector b cross vector a and this time we are going to use we are going to use the determinants we're going to use the determinants method okay as a first step let us say this is our left hand side of the equation let us say this is our right hand side of the equation so if we were to take the left hand side of the equation the way we can uh, show that is as is as follows vector a cross vector b the cross product is going to be equal to um, is going to be equal to as follows since we are since we want to use determ determinants we can write it in this manner i'm going to write i j k like that and then i'm going to pick i'm going to write the coefficients of i, j, and k for vector a below here 2, negative 3, negative 1 2 is a co uh, coefficient of i 3, uh, negative 3 is a coefficient of j and negative 1 is a coefficient of k in for vector a the coefficients of b vector b are 1, 4, and negative 2 if I wait to take the determinant of this we should be we should be able to get the value of uh, the cross product between vector a and vector b okay so let's do that in here to do that i'm going to also follow this sign convention we're going to travel along the first row and when we travel along the first row the sign convention we are going to use when we use determinants is the first comp first row first element First row, first uh, column element, the, the sign convention will be positive, then it will be negative, then it will be positive. So it will alternate between positive and negative. So we will use that sign convention and expand this. So the way to expand that is i, the minor of that, the minor of that will be negative 3, negative 1, 4, and negative 2, like that, minus j, the minor of that, which is going to be 2 negative 1, 1, negative 2, and then plus k, the minor of that, which will be 2, negative 3, 1, and 4. When we expand this, we should be able to find the product of that. i times, this would be negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6, minus 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, with a negative sign will be positive 4, right? Minus j times 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, but with a negative sign that is going to be positive 1. Plus k times, four, 2 times 4 is 8, minus 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, times negative will be positive, so therefore that is a 3. So when we simplify this, this is going to be 6 plus 4 is 10i, uh, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3, negative times negative is a positive, so this is 3j, and then 8 plus 3 is 11, so therefore 11k. So the dot product of, uh, I mean the cross product of vector a times vector b, times vector b, is equal to this value here. I'm going to so uh, put a block around this like this. This is what we've arrived at. 
So this is the left hand side of the equation. We want to uh, also show the right hand side we also want to use determinants to to expand the right hand side part as well and see whether uh, the property is true or not true or whether this determinants uh, helps us find that or does not help us find that. So we're going to take the right hand side of the equation now and the right hand side of the equation is we're going to take vector b and then cross it with vector a and then the way to do that is as follows. We're going to write i, j, k and the components of vector b. We're going to pick the coefficients and write them out here. The coefficients of i uh, is 1, coefficients of j is 4 and the coefficients of k is negative 2. And for vector a, the coefficient of i is 2, the coefficient of j is negative 3 and the coefficient of k is negative 1. If we find the determinant of this, that will give us the um, cross product between vector b and vector a. So let us expand this. We're going to do the same thing what we did in, in the first step here. We will expand it along the first row and the sign convention we're going to use is positive, negative, positive. Okay. So let us expand that. This is going to be i. The minor of that is going to be 4, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1 and then minus j the minor of that is 1 negative 2 2 negative 1 and then plus k the minor of that will be 1 4 2 and negative 3 therefore when we expand this it is going to be i times 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 3 negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6 with a negative sign so therefore negative 6 negative j times 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 2 times negative 2 is negative negative 4 with a negative sign will be positive 4 plus k times 1 times negative 3 is negative 3 2 times 4 is 8 with a negative sign so therefore that is how we can write it out so this is going to be negative 4 plus negative 6 is negative 10i right and then negative 1 plus 4 is positive 3. Positive 3 times negative will be negative 3j. And then negative 3 plus negative 8 is negative 11k. So this is very similar to, we can write this one as negative of 10i plus 3j plus 11k. This is the dot product for vector b cross vector a, isn't it? So this is the dot product of vector b dot vector a. I'm going to put a um, put a block around this and when you look at these two, these this is the property which we have just proved. We said therefore that vector a cross vector b is exactly equal to the negative of vector b cross vector a. So we have used determinants to prove this and uh, the, the determinants gives us a an easier way to solve these types of problems. Okay. In my next presentation we shall look at some more examples related to cross products and related to vectors in three dimensions.